Hey guys, welcome to another Proxmox video here today. I'm actually really excited that I've switched to Proxmox, honestly, um, because, you know, it's one of those like, you know, Proxmox is, definitely seems really cool, um, especially now that, um, you know, VMware doesn't support their free EXXI um, license anymore. So I've, I've been really tempted to switch this year, but I just haven't had like a good like, hey, I'm going to just bite the bullet and do it. Um, so buying the minis form really kind of helped out with that. So I did a lot of migrations this this um, uh, past weekend, um, and I didn't get everything migrated. And I know I, you know, there's some tools that are like, hey, you can create like in uh, VMware OVA and then import it into Proxmox. And I was tempted to do that, um, but I think I'm going to challenge myself on some of my virtual machines doing actual like backing up of like you know GitLab using GitLab backups and seeing how to do restores from there too, um, because I think some of my machines are also running like CentOS Seven, so I need to upgrade them anyways. Um, so. That will be a fun adventure, and I will have to see how that works. But uh, in today's video, we're going to probably just do um, uh, just short videos of keeping things simple. Um, but in this video, we will be showing you how you can upload an ISO to Proxmox, because that was one of the first things that I had to do, because I needed to obviously create a VM from scratch. Um, so I'll show you how you can do it in this video today. So let's get started. All right. So, you probably have something very similar to this GUI. Um, nothing too fancy, you know, just very simple. Uh, so, if you need to do ISOs, um, I usually use the folder view right uh, right now, and you can go under storage. So, you have essentially two storages. You have your local and local LVM. Um, so, each of these storage has like storage classification uh, classes, which is a little different than how VMware does it, where you, it just you could just store everything in it. So this on your local, um, by default, will have ISO images here. So um, it's a uh, it's an ISO uh, class that you can essentially use for the storage. But you can see how there's no ISO class in here, so you can't actually upload ISOs to your local LVM. Um, so that is something interesting um, because I'm going to have to try to figure out how that works when I do an NFS share because eventually I'm going to just use my NFS for some of my slower VMs um, because I won't have, I only have two terabytes. I, I can't store everything on here. So, um, but for now, uh, if you go to ISO images, you got two options. You can either upload from your computer or you can download from a URL. Um, so you can see I have an Oracle Linux and a Windows 2022 uh, server ISO here. Um, so, Uploading, obviously, you just select your file. Um, I don't have any ISOs on my uh, computer right now, so we're actually going to just download from a URL. So, say for example, um, you go to like Oracle Linux uh, ISO download, um, and you go to the downloads. You can kind of see, um, and we'll let's let's grab the like nine um, version nine. So we'll copy that. We'll paste the the URL here will query the URL and essentially it will download 11 gigs and the nice thing about this is essentially it will download from the VM itself uh, or the, the host itself that's running Proxmox as opposed to hey you gotta download it to your computer and then upload it from your computer to um, Proxmox itself so this is actually a really nice feature I don't actually know if VMware does that I've always just uploaded it um, so I don't actually know, but uh, this is pretty neat. So, you know, it'll just go as fast as it can um, from the server itself. Um, th and this is the only time I wish I had like actual 10 gig NIC speed um, for my ISP because I'd be like, man, this would be blazing fast. I only got one gig. Um, but the next plan essentially for my home lab from a physical upgrade standpoint will be 10 gig networking, which will be fun and amazing. So um, I'm hoping to get that sorted. Um, and then probably buy like two more mini forms to do a uh, Proxima cluster plus a Ceph cluster, essentially. Um, but I will let this essentially finish downloading. Looks like it's going to take four minutes. I could talk for four minutes, um, but I will make sure uh, I'll, I'll just fast forward to when this is over. So. All right, now it is officially finished. Um, so you can see here that it, it essentially saved and downloaded. Um, so you can see that the status is stopped and OK. Um, so we can now close the pop-up box. Um, and you can see that now it shows up down here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to actually uh, run Oracle Linux 9 yet. Um, I'm still 
just using eight for the most part, but uh, we will now have it for if we ever need it. So that is essentially how you download um, or up download from a URL, or you can upload it from your machine to your Proxmox. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.